and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folari. Uh, we thank God it's a Friday. I don't know why I always say that on a Friday. <laughs> and I, don't, I don't say thank God it's a Monday. Well, my, my guest this morning is um, uh, Kadi Isuola, uh, Research Associate Prof of Political Behavior, Institute of African and Diaspora Studies, University of Lagos. Kadi, it's a delight to have you again. Thank you, Yori. Indeed. It's nice been here. Um, our subject for discussion today is um, uh, the gale of, if I could call it that, the gale of defections uh, uh, in the polity. And um, <coughs> when, when, when this kind of a thing happens, I suppose, yes, the ruling party is going to suffer the most. In fact, so much so uh, that uh, the chair of the ruling party, Adamo Abdullahi, here, has been to the National Assembly uh, to try and meet with them so that they can stem the outflow of APC senators. Right now, um, of the 90 of them in the uh, Red Chamber, I understand that the number has come down to just a little over 60. Now, is this surprising to you, Kaudi? It is not, not, not in any way surprising. Because um, there are very many reasons I'm not. Those reasons do not also make them surprise you. Surprise anybody in Nigeria. With this issues, I think in doing it, we must find ourselves gently about what we call politics mm -hmm. and the nature and character, by extension, democracy. Politics is purely all over the world a game of interest. Yes. And that interest means. What is there for me? Whether you are participating at gladiatorial level or subjective level, that is what politics means. Therefore, whatever behavior man exhibits towards politics is guided by one thing. What is there for me? Even when you extend it to say, what is there for my nation? It's still what exactly. is there for I was, me. I was going to ask it you that. It is still what is there for me that because I'm a man it's of your principle. nation. Mm -hmm. It is still what is there for me. So if you understand this theoretical background, we can then move forward and ask the question. This page of the campaign, cross-carpeting and cross-cross-carpeting, mm -hmm. that you see in Nigeria, why is it so? And then what implications does it have for our country, Nigeria, which is a fledgling democracy? I start from why it is so. It is so because we often forget that there are different reasons why people play politics in different political environments. In some parts of the world, people play politics because they want to write their names in gold. They want something to be traced to them, that it was during this man's tenure or administration that this and this is or are achieved, okay. as it were. In other parts of the world, people play politics for different reasons, e.g. in Nigeria. If you look at what operates in our society, politics is played for the purpose of power. And that power is not the end. The power is to achieve certain ends, such as material resources, dignity, honor, ability and capacity to oppress and suppress others. The reality that, that last one, of the Nigerian that, that last society. One. Uh, can, can anyone actually get up and say, even if secretly, that you know, I need to be able to oppress and suppress some people. Then you need to go to the highway. I was driving from Shagamu to Lagos yesterday, and I was stuck in a neck break traffic. But those who have political power managed to cross to the other side with their siren in the front, bullying people with koboko and policemen to be able to have their way. Is that not suppression? Is that not oppression? I am saying that what operates in the Nigerian scenario is that people, amongst other things, use power to amass wealth, to command resources, to oppress and suppress others, 
and to solve their immediate and future needs. That is what operates. It is like that because, Yori, you live in a state where you must be a government on your own. You build your own house. Elsewhere, the places you try to compare with, nobody does that. You cater for your children's education. Elsewhere, it's not like that. When you build your own house, you construct your own road, build your own water tank, cater for your own security, and you package your own retirement benefit. Elsewhere. All individually. All individually. Elsewhere that you like to compare with, people don't do that. The state does everything for them. Therefore, because of the peculiarities of this place, once you get into political power, your immediate ambition is to use that power to solve all these immediate and future problems. And Kaudi, when you say Therefore, the state does... politics becomes survival. When you say the state does uh, all that for them, and we're talking about politicians mm. and their uh, antics, the mm. um, I, I, I'm guessing that in those climes, mm. it's not so much that the state does all of that for them. Mm. It does all of that for a society mm. of which the politicians are a part. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know, can, can one really We're say We probably that? are saying the same thing. Man yes. makes the society. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, so, it's exactly. just the body so, of people. Uh, yes. So, so, so the whereas they're doing it for the politicians yeah. uh, who happen to be ah, citizens they, they as well, are, are the ordinary man for is... the citizens, the ordinary man over there. And so, now explaining the behavior of that man, over there is no longer desperate to use power for all these things we are talking about. I mean, so he can now face ideology. Now you are talking. He goes into politics for issues and ideas to create things that will uplift the nation and write his or her name in gold. Yeah, that is not the purpose. But that, is, that is where we have found ourselves. That's not a very flattering um, uh, character sketch of the Nigerian politician. I'm is afraid it? it is not. But do you want to argue that that is not the reality that we have on ground? I can't go there. That is what it is. I can't go there. Now, what we need to do as a society is first identify this scenario as a problem. As we see it, Lori, we are discussing it as a social issue, mm -hmm. not as a problem. Not okay. as a national problem. Now, when we discuss it this way, and we show the merits and the merits, the civil society organizations will pick the issue up and problematize it and say that, look, this thing go on in our society. If they go on, they are likely to have A, B, C, D as consequences for economy, for politics, for wealth, for education, for whatever you talk about it. Therefore, it becomes something that must attract national attention and a problem that must be solved. If we don't get to that level, we will not be able to enact laws that will control it and institute social practices that will regulate it. This is where we are. In the CV, it's Ricardo, you, <laughs> maybe because you dissected the issue so, you know, uh, analytically mm. uh, from, and if you want, academically, yeah. uh, it, it, it's, it's quite it's depressing. It's all about political behavior. Yes, it's quite Why depressing. Why do men it? behave the way they behave in politics? And that is where we have found ourselves. Now, when the APC chairman, Adamu uh, Abdullahi, mm. uh, went to meet up with um, his party members in the National Assembly, mm. uh, he said it's, it, it's, it, it's worrying. Mm. It's, it's not unusual, mm. but we've taken a bigger hit because we're the ruling party. Mm. So it's worrying. So I, I, I'm coming to speak with my people here to see if they can work towards putting a stop to it. Um, against the backdrop of you know, the, 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 the canvas you have painted, mm. uh, it's not going to achieve very much. <laughs> you, agree? It is not, you have answered the question. <laughs> it is quite unlikely to achieve anything. Again, it goes back to what I said. Of interest. Elsewhere, when people lose membership in their political party, what they go into is check their manifesto and the ideological foundation of their party. Mm -hmm. Is this thing standing the test of time in contemporary world? If so, they will retain it. If not, they will walk, rethink, interrogate, and reinterrogate. But rather than do that, 
in this environment where politics means money, wealth, survivor, and oppression, you are looking for more people to make money. And that is why the chairman of the party made that move. It's like, hey, the sheep are decreasing in my flock. How do I make the money that I used to make? That's the logic. That's the interpretation of what the man. Um, but no, 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 no such word or uh, <laughs> body language or anything. You, An you, analysis. You are anal analyzing analysis. it. Analysis. Uh, the man analysis. is looking at it. No I doubt. Wait, I wait for the logic to to perforate. It. <laughs> <laughs> the, the man is the he's the captain of the ship. <laughs> that's it. And uh, he doesn't like how that, that's people it. are jumping ship. That's it. And so and let's that find out what's going I on. I can assure you, has dealt a big blow the psychology of members of it. Yorubas have a proverb. They say, Once the head of the family cries out to the children that I am no longer in control. Mm -hmm. A very yeah. serious thing. It, it, it is no. a very serious problem. Yeah. But the, uh, the, those of them that are even, some even don't want to give reason. The, mm. the Senate president has found himself in the position where Oh, virtually every day he's mm. had to read a letter mm. Mm -hmm. uh, of people, you know, uh, handing in their resignation from the him. ruling party. I don't, I don't envy him. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you, you know, um, I think uh, I was reading that uh, Adamu Aliero is one of the more painful ones, mm. uh, yeah, or Yahaya Abdullahi, mm -hmm. who is the leader. Mm -hmm. leader mm -hmm. uh, and uh, both of them are from Kebi, Kebi, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. um, those ones are painful. And when they finally got down to find out what exactly is going on, those that wanted to speak said, well, the, the thing is, there is no democracy back home. In, that is in my state. Mm. The states have become so powerful, so I'm not giving a fair shake anymore, mm. and um, I'm not just going to stand for it anymore. Mm. I'm mm. moving on. Especially as a lot of them didn't get a return ticket mm -hmm. following the primaries. Mm -hmm. So it goes back to what you said at the beginning. Mm -hmm. What's my interest in so here? What's my interest? What oh, is so there what, for what, me? But shouldn't it be that... There's an ideology. I can still continue to profess that ideology, mm. uh, even out of Senate. I am a loyal APC man. Yuri, shouldn't it be? I don't agree it should. You can only agree if you are essentializing. You are comparing what obtains in Nigeria to or with what obtains elsewhere. But I like to analyze politics realistically. The elsewhere we are talking about, Ideology is the driver. Mm. Yeah, ideology is not the driver. Is one better than the other? I don't know. I don't say far. Be more, as the case may be. <laughs> now, when we, perhaps, again, we need to remind ourselves, and Nigerians in general, that democracy is not morality. It Read, isn't? It is not morality. Not is it related to it, though? Capital, capital letter, N, O, T, oh, it not. is not morality. But surely it's a relation, a it, close relation. Yes. Okay. What democracy promises anybody, what democracy promises anybody is that the majority will be involved mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh, in deciding who rules them. And the other one, which is the second lecturate, is just an expectation. And therefore, because the majority are involved in deciding who rules them, it is expected, mere expectation, mm -hmm. that the ruler will dance to their own interest. That expectation may or may not be fulfilled. And democracy, that is what it means. Maybe we often forget, Yuri, that we are talking about Nigeria as a conglomeration of peoples <laughs> to use, I mean, that in perspective now, of different cultural, social, and political backgrounds until 1914. What we call democracy today, we all in Nigeria met either on the pages of newspaper, or textbook, or on television. They were not rooted in our culture and our country. So you're saying effectively in layman's language, democracy is not in our culture. It's not. It's not. When I say democracy, I mean that system of government that you read about in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and other places, mm -hmm. not in our culture. We are democratic, and we have to be specific. Democratic to the extent that if you look at the pre-colonial systems in our land, especially in Oyo, to some extent it was democratic. 
fairly represented by class, by ethnicity, by clan in the king's palace. It was democratic. But the idea of democracy as a system of government that you and I read in school, very alien to our culture. Alien to our culture, number one. Two, it cannot work here the way it works over there because the realities of social political peculiarities are absolutely different. Wow. Um, one second, Cardi. Uh, let me take on Kesantu, who has been listening from the beginning, I imagine, uh, and uh, wants to contribute. Good morning to you, Kesandu. Good morning, Uncle Yuri. Doctor, good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, you see, I have been a supporter that we must add a bit of morality to our politics in this country. It is unfortunate. I, I need to be blunt about this. You see, it is, it is so unfortunate that our so-called representative committee leaders are all interested in self-glorification and aggrandizement. Their personal interest is superseding the interest of the entire country. Let me tell you, one happened in Imo, I know you know it, that one has defected to the Labour Party simply because he participated in the PDP primaries and lost. That is why he left. If he had won, he wouldn't have left. So you see that it's purely about his interest. And come to think of it, I think that is why we need people who are so passionate about the development of this country. Can we actually have a legislation that says Make it explicit, blunt in black and white, that once you want to defend from one party to another, okay, you're going to leave your seat. And it is not contestable anywhere, under any reason, for whatsoever. As long as you want to leave your political party to another, what exactly did you find interesting about them? We just see political parties as, as, as vehicles. Zero. As an ideology, the party does not even have an ideology like we're seeing in the present government now. Everything they said they're going to do, are they looking at it? People will just move from one party A to party B because of their personal interest. Can we have a legislation that will completely disagree that once you're leaving, Oga, your seat is declared vacant? With that, we can actually teach these people. It will serve as a deterrent to others. This is all we need. We want to restructure this country and have these things written in black and white. It will help us and help our democracy. Let us add a bit of morality to our politics. Thank you very much. Mm. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for calling in, Kesandu. Mm. Uh, well, uh, the... I share I share his reasoning. I mean, I salute the logic. Let us. It's a desire. Okay? The point I was raising is that democracy is not a moral issue. As I said before, if we elevate this discussion to the platform of social issues, social problems, we can then make laws and enact Practices. Because that was where I was going to go, Cardi. I wanted to ask, <laughs> do you think the law can help? Uh, can it be like the kind of, I'm talking about the kind of behavior we mm -hmm. see where people are crossing parties, uh, I don't know, mm -hmm. just about every politician mm -hmm. of note that you can think of has done it. Atiku mm -hmm. has done it severally. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know that Tinubu has done it very much, mm -hmm. uh, but he's just of been involved. They, they, play the, they play the same card. Interestingly, Yori, mm -hmm. I belong to the editorial board of a newspaper. This was the discussion yesterday. It was the most heated of all our discussions yesterday. Let me paint a scenario yeah. so that our viewers will understand me much better because I don't want to sound too academic, too abstract. English language left UK to come to Nigeria via colonialism. Now we have Nigerian English. Different diction, different pronunciation, phonetics, phonology, even semantics, as against the kind of English you have in the UK. Why is it so? Because that system found itself here. And it must, must, it cannot it, operate in abstract form. It, has it to must become adjust local. to what goes on the here. It so what goes on here in Nigeria is that economically, there is deprivation. Minimum wage is 30,000 naira. Okay? You pay school fees. You pay your medical bill. Those who will practice democracy, we put this in the functional aspect of their practice. How else do you say it? And that is why a senator will earn that much amount of naira. Mm. And a professor, a bloody professor in the university, is being paid 316,000 naira in a month. That is why you see, I mean, have you looked around any part of Europe or America that we like to compare with? I see a president coming to visit a community, and then they engage young stars in secondary school. 
give them five five thousand, give them Ankara, and they are now dancing to entertain the president. Have you seen it before? Um, uh, that is because there is poverty here. And so it's somebody adapting. must. So democracy is adapting. It's adapting. I mean, it, the, the importation to, it's adapting of these to the economic realities. There will always be people to do your bid, to shout and say, Babasa, when you are even doing nothing. In this because locale. that person is hungry in this local. Until we tackle those problems, we'll be perambulating. If we make laws to checkmate them, politicians will devise one million and one other way to, to circumvent it. Mazi uh, for Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Prof. Morning, my brother. Uh, my brother is here. What we are facing today is that this issue of defection from one party to another party is that one, the politicians, they don't have passion for their constituency. Two, no political ideology. Three, no focus for themselves as a politician. Look, let me, let's, let's look at, let's take it this way. When Trump came to the office, after that first turn, what happened? Trump, the Biden came in. Did you see anybody under Trump uh, the, 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 to move from one, from that republic to the, 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 the It's not possible. They didn't, but they still stay there, waiting for the next turn. But here in Nigeria, because the politicians, they don't have focus. When they see that they are failed in where they are now, because they couldn't deliver, they jumped to another political party, whether it's a small one, to see how they can vibrate. It's not, but that is why I'm telling you that, gentlemen, Nigerian politicians, they are not ready to give the dividends of democracy to the people. Now you ask yourself, all these people that are failed woefully and they want to defect the other protest, and they want to change the goalposts, and they want to change the, the, the electoral act. I would just advise you, if you know you have failed, what you do now is that go back to your constituents and wait for 2027. Invest what you have acquired in your constituents. One, to help you to save people in terms of security, in terms of getting employment for people, in terms of providing for, uh, pipe on water and the for the people, then by 2027, you will see whether you will get back or not. The first thing for one party to another party, you go back and, and keep on, keep on, keep on, and still falling, falling, falling down to the, uh, to the zero percent, which is not healthy for our politics. So, I didn't have to take wise. The first thing from one political party to another political party does not solve your problem. And I'm telling Nigerians, please, all those people that are failed, we should not bring them back. Let's bring a new crop of people, the Jagabans, let them come on board by 2027 so that we have a good, a good government, good government and to move forward. If you go back and recycle them from one political party, I bet you from Fripan to fire. Thank God today is a secret of Jesus for the Catholics. Have a blessed and fruitful day. God bless all of us. Happy weekend. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Thank you very much, <laughs> Mazi Okorafo. Uh, calling him from uh, uh, Arochuku. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look, therefore, uh, following from your analysis and mm. uh, what is also being contributed, mm. that very much is going to change anytime soon mm. because it's a function of uh, how we are, mm. uh, the type of people uh, that is our own world mm. view. Mm -mm. Uh, we, 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 right? Mm -mm. I'm, afraid, I'm afraid. Not how we are. We were before we imported democracy. Okay. The peculiarity of most yeah, But what states, did we have then that was not called by any particular nomenclature? It was, it was a plethora of democratic systems, democratic in their own different ways. Mm. But the idea of democracy, the package, the concept invented that in concept America. invented in the U.S. Mm. and superimposed upon us is what is giving us problems. And why is it giving us problems? If you study Western Europe, the United States, North America, who are practicing democracy very well today with good governance, which is supposed to be the end, what you see, if you read their history, is that they already achieved development before they got into democracy. Mm -hmm. The free for all democracy that we practice today. But until 1960, late, very early 1960s, women were not voting in the United States. The blacks were restricted. They didn't throw democracy open to Tom, Dick, and Harry, until they achieve development and social stability. 
in Africa, the reverse is the case. We are yet to achieve social stability. We are yet to achieve development. Minimum wage is 30,000 naira. People can feed. And you are talking about morality in practice of democracy? How so? Okay. Human beings don't behave that way. Uh, Mr. That is the explanation, not justification, Mark. I, I, I hear you. Uh, Mr. Mohammed in Abuja, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, Uncle Yori. How are you? Very well, thank you. Yeah, I did you, I guess, in the studio. Can, can I continue? Please, please go ahead. Yeah, a gain of defection in the National Assembly. Yes. Are we talking only in National Assembly or all other, uh, any other places? Well, go ahead, because his defection is the same thing. Yeah, so defection in the National Assembly does not affect the party activities or whatever. Because if you look into it, some of them are defected. Those that are defected have lost their ticket in one party or the other. So they are going for where they can get a soft landing and get a ticket that they can fly, then take them back to the National Assembly. Then if you are thinking of general defection, there are some people in Nigeria today with that integrity. Till today, they have not defected to any other party. Like Tinubu, he has never defected to any other party. He just started from, uh, from ACN. He's just because of this. AD. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, I brought that up. He has, if you want to call it that, evolved mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. the parties mm -hmm. that he's been part of. Metamorphosis, of. kind of metamorphosis. If yes, he's part of that party. He has never changed. So you can not follow him for his personal interest. He wants to work for Nigeria and Nigerians. He wants to make sure Nigeria grow. So let's give credit to those that maintain their party line, maintain their integrity, maintain everything they need. Ah, Mr. Mohammed, the, the line has gone, it has sort of faded out. But let me bring this to Dr. Israola. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, part of what you said, that um, in those climes mm -hmm. where social stability had been achieved, so, you know, bringing the concept of democracy, mm -hmm. it, it sort of worked. Yeah. Now, I wanted to ask, um, in our environment here, you find that, not, we're not talking about social stability now, but personal stability, a lot of people that weren't anything at mm -hmm. all before coming into politics, mm -hmm. it is that politics that is going to make them. Mm -hmm. They didn't have two metal coins to rub mm -hmm. against each mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. But since arriving in mm -hmm. politics, mm -hmm. you know, they, they will become build houses the, in Nigeria a, a, and buy overseas. A, a, exactly. They will become deacons in their churches because they have been able to dole <laughs> money to the pastors. It so I wanted to ask you, if, uh, the, can we have it any other way? Uh, I, I, I don't know, because um, after you have to have politicians to make up democracy, the kind of person in Nigeria, let's concern ourselves with Nigeria, but when we were off there, you actually, we actually spoke about some other countries. But mm. let's limit ourselves to Nigeria for yeah, now. Mm. <clears throat> the, there's a phenomenon in Nigeria where a person who is nothing whatsoever, but happens to be well-connected, mm. um, he goes into politics if he's lucky, and from there on, his mm. life is made. Mm. Is, that so, uh, is that abnormal? Doesn't that happen <laughs> elsewhere? I'm just trying to find out, because this is what would lead on to this whole question about whether or not people are defecting because I couldn't get my wish here. <laughs> the, the question is answered, yes. I, I try as much as possible to run away from the word abnormal because it will be judgmental. Yes, it okay. will be essentializing. <laughs> we are comparing. <laughs> we, we, we must not. Because uh, I, I wish there was a practicing politician sharing this discussion with us. You will see his perspective. Well, they can phone him. He probably will let Some you understand. Some of them understand. are watching. They can phone him. Yeah. So I can appeal. Can, yeah. I, can I just take a second to yeah. appeal to yeah. practicing politicians mm -hmm. who might want to contribute to this conversation? Mm -hmm. Please call mm -hmm. in and let's hear it from your mm -hmm. point of view mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. What you expect him or her to say is that you are in politics to win elections and get political power. Like Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, all these footballers are in those clubs. Mm. 
score goals. To score goals. And lift up awards and trophies. Yeah. That morality of... And, and win, win, win for their club. And, and for their club. That morality of, I mean, this club today, therefore I won't go to the other club tomorrow, does not exist. That is the reality. Yeah. All right. Then. And we must manage it. W one second, please. Yeah. Ada is not a politician, but she's called in. Uh, good morning, Ada. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Yuri. Good morning to your guest there. Dr. Okay, so um, it's, um, it's, uh, Ada calling from the party state. You shall not surprise about the defections, you know. We haven't seen uh, anything yet. There will be more. There's going to be a tsunami. Okay, Why are we, are we having all these wrangling? It's because the political parties uh, lack internal party democracy. Even the chairman of the APC that went there and uh, saying uh, lamenting over it. How did he emerge, Mr. Yuri? You know the story. What are you talking about? So that is the problem. Uh, uh, the, the day they emerged, I watched on television, somebody was crying, somebody, somebody among them was crying, weeping, literally weeping. And then what are you talking about, my dear? Just forget it. They haven't seen anything yet. Then uh, the, again, another thing is that they don't have ideology, ideology. You see, they see the, the National Assembly as a place to go and amass wealth, you know? So it looks as if it's their main job. Abroad, uh, most of them have jobs, you know, and all that. So they don't see it as a... Uh, where they go to amass well, that's why some of them stay there 50 years or more, you know, and they don't see it where they go to enrich themselves. But in Nigeria, it's, it's not like that. We have a, a politics without principles, Democrats who are not uh, 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 want to be democratic in nature. Then the smaller parties, the, some of them I describe them as indomie parties, just form in a hurry. Some of them in the president in nature, they are there. Sometimes it's even the money back that comes. Did, so did you say indomie parties? Did you say indomie parties, Ada? No, no. Yes, now. Um, uh, the the indomie no lose parties. If they don't get, if they don't get any, uh, if they don't get the ticket in the other uh, two dominant parties, the ones they, they they help to form, they now jump to that entrepreneurial party. That is the other sixteen. That's what is happening, you know. But all the same, all I want to say here is that uh, I remember the words of. Uh, uh, one time, uh, uh, um, Indian uh, uh, Prime Minister, Jay Nehru, he said, life is like a game of cards. The hand that is dealt you is determinative. The way you play it is free will. So they have the free will, just like your guest is saying there. They have the free will to, to do what they want to do because they, they see it as a, a, mean, a means to an end. So they want to go and shop. It's shopping that they are doing now. It's shopping that they are doing. So uh, that is it. But for me, what we need now in the next dispensation is a stingy, Stingy president, in quotes, stingy in quotes. That's what you need. God bless you. Let's not give up on this country. Thank you very much for calling in, Ada. Akadi, what, what, what do you think of the concept of um, the, the very attractive allure of the concept of a, a servant leader? Mm. And do we have any such thing locally? Because some people actually have tried to give themselves that mm. appellation. Mm. Uh, because what you said, uh, especially at the very beginning, mm. it would seem to denounce all of that as, well. Mm. let's... Let's be serious. Mm, they're, they're related. It depends on how you want to serve the people. You want to serve the people privately or you want to serve the public. If you look at the political arena today, those who are respected, who command loyalty of people, are so positioned because people see them as you know, somebody who served them, as individuals. Mm. Mm? Okay. In that country where you serve these people as a servant, there's no electricity, there's no water, there's no security, there's inflation, salaries are not paid, you know, retirement benefits are not paid. But because certain individuals within the political class have been direct beneficiaries to this person, they see him, you know, as their servant, and they have absolute loyalty towards the person. Again, Yori. That's the reality of the things here. And that's the distinction I was trying to draw. Until we identify it as a problem and now seek solutions to change it, like the woman who called in just said, we haven't seen anything yet. The infections have not started. And we said that when we were informally interrupted. Phase one is what we are looking at now. Phase two will come. At that time, you will know that politicians are like footballers. They are not driven to our emotion. Not by passion, not by ideology in Nigeria that we're analyzing. They do my power. And that power is to solve social problems that either to the state 
the government can also offer them. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you, you, you see, this is the first phase, and uh, mm -hmm. some, some people have also said the same thing. Uh, does that imply that the, the, the next phase, mm -hmm. and I didn't say second, in mm -hmm. case there are more than two mm -hmm. stages, mm -hmm. the next phase is going to be the uh, elections, the general elections, mm -hmm. and the, the lead up to that? There will be more defections, more defections, especially uh, towards the end of 2022. It did not because the, because there's uh, I'm being told someone uh, uh, one second please yeah. uh, some uh, Stanley Stanley in the UK did I get that yeah, right yes you got me right can you hear me hello hello uh, uh, hello is it hello? is that Stanley yeah, in the UK yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Right. Please carry on. Thank you, Uncle Yorick. Um, good morning, sir. I want to, I'm listening from, good morning, man. I'm listening from here, good on my guest, so, guest. Um, I want to cheat something here. Um, you cannot correct this very issue. You see, this other part of uh, this world that we live in, UK, uh, the people here are more scared of the journalists than even the police. So now, the problem of Nigeria, journalists should help. The problem of Nigeria, these old people really know, they don't understand it. The problem of Nigeria is the 1999 constitution. That very 1999 constitution is the problem. I want us to be talking about, let us be speaking the truth to help our country. We living here, we want to come back to Nigeria fully and settle there. But because of this 1999 constitution, it's really illegal. It's making politicians richer and stronger, making leadership instead of a service, making leadership as a business in Nigeria. So why won't these people defect? Why won't they go to other parties? They have to, because the invested money is for business. So when you are doing business, it's profit maximization. If you cannot get what you want from this party, you jump to the other party, because you've invested a huge amount of money. Okay, listen, let me tell you something. People living here in UK, they make money, they bring it to Nigeria, looking for who to sponsor in politics. Mm. They're looking for who to sponsor in politics. I was asking with this, my friend. I said, why would you sponsor some? What if this person don't win election? He said, if he doesn't win, okay, it's a game. But if he wins, boom, everybody will become billionaire if he wins. So what do you expect? If they don't meet up in this party, PDP, they go to APC, the same people. So we really need to be concentrating and talking about that 1999 constitution. Let us help ourselves. With this, Ashura Gibola Ame Tinubu is our boss. We support him. He has the vision. He has the knowledge. He has whatever it takes. But even if you put Ashwa you there with the nineteen ninety nine constitution, he will still give us what we want. He will fail. If you like, bring all the whole presidents or prime ministers in America and the UK, make them president of Nigeria. They will fail with this very constitution. So let us speak the truth and talk about this and then adjust it. Do it normal. How we're supposed to be done to help ourselves. Thank you very much. Thank you very much uh, for calling in, Stanley. Uh, you make out. Yeah, the, the emphasis is on the 1999 Constitution. Because that, uh, the Constitution if, doesn't forbid any of this yes, or prevent yes, any yes, of this. Yes, yes. I agree with him, but with a pinch of salt. And as I mentioned, if you amend that Constitution 10 times, okay, and you don't balance the social system, to have equitable reward for people. The same politicians will manipulate it and circumvent it 1,000 and one ways. That is the fundamental. You know, can, I was can, can the, the society say no? Uh, enough is enough. The society is made up of you and I. We are humans, political animals. We are being pursued by our own interest. And, and maybe that explains a bit uh, the, the gale. We're talking about the gale of defections. Yeah. How about the gale of registrations and acquisitions of PVCs mm. that you are seeing now? Yeah. I don't know how significant yeah, that is. Yeah, because people suddenly realized by the new amendment of INEC that the votes are likely to count now. Mm -hmm. That's the reason. And that's what I'm talking about. Until we identify it as a problem. I mean, somebody made a very good comment. He said, for years, 
there has been Department of Voters Education in INEC. Yes. Shouting and crying for people to go and get PVC. Nobody did. People still greeted it with, with apathy. apathy. But now, without that department being involved, yes. people now see Themselves. that votes we likely count this time. And so you see crowd. That, and it is I, the youth. That's what I mean. Largely. So, good. So the behavior is triggered by a structure. Not appeal. Mm -hmm. Appeals don't change people. Yeah, exactly. Preaching don't change people. Mm -hmm. Let us move our country forward. We'll not change anybody. There must be certain structures that's that will force people to do that. Head us, that as is, it were. That's what in, I'm in that's it. that's what I'm driving. Uh, at. Mr. Ade in the UK. Good morning to you, sir. Happy uh, thank God it's Friday, Dr. Yori. Good morning. Good morning to your guest. Good morning. Uh, what I want to say is this. Stanley, who I just called from UK now, said something very, very important, but maybe you miss it. Here in UK, politicians, they are afraid of journalists more than God. Because journalists here are very powerful. They can bring any prime minister down or any member of parliament down. But in Nigeria, there is no freedom of the press. All of you are afraid. All the TV everywhere, they are afraid. That is the one problem. Two, deception. There's nothing wrong with deception. They defect in London here, yeah? but it's not rampart. But they become independent when it defects. But that deflection is not the problem. The problem is what the man has said. Our constitution is faulty. Until something is done about the constitution. Because everybody now who is a politician, they are millionaires. They buy houses here, like I said, all the time. Uh, our senior president, the president that they got arrested, he has houses in Wilson uh, there. So, they don't buy property here. Property are very expensive, former, but they have former it. deputy For Senate president. Former uh, deputy former, That's why I say former. I say former. So, okay. they have houses here in Wilson. So, <coughs> what I'm saying, the politics in Nigeria, we don't need presidential. We need parliamentary system, not presidential system. It's too expensive. That's the problem we are, we are experiencing in Nigeria. But if something is done about that, then we continue to have this problem. I pray that God will save my country, Nigeria. We are, we are rich. We are richer than UK. Are, so that Nigeria you can come back. Just like Stanley, <laughs> Stanley said, he wants to come yeah, back. I will come back. I'll stay with my Dr. Yori, my friend. Because otherwise, I will come to Nigeria very soon and he come to uh, NIPP with uh, Yakub and, uh, and uh, Reverend Dominic. All of us will go to NIPP. And Mr. Or George. Nigeria. <laughs> and and Mazi. He's just mentioning all those yeah. regular, regular, yeah, colors, regular on, colors on the program. On this program. Mm -hmm. so, but he, he has raised a point that is critical. And I want to say that, I mean, you, you don't cure sicknesses in a monolithic way. If you have malaria, as we are taking the anti-malaria, we are also taking the painkiller, perhaps sometimes cough syrup, or even um, blood tonic. Those that will address the symptoms while the anti-malaria is addressing the pathology the itself. Mm. Of course, it, it, it's, it's a salad of ideas. We need to look at our constitution. There's no doubt about that. We need to interrogate whether presidential system uh, is better than parliamentary or the other way around. There's no doubt about that. There are many other things we need do to do. Do you have an opinion on that, by the way? Well, well I, I do, but maybe we should reserve that. Yes, because the latter it, will part just, of this state. it will be as well. The, the emphasis, because I'm a political behaviorist, because defection is a political behavior issue, the emphasis is that when you ask the question why people desperately move from one part, I was laughing into myself when somebody said, a particular person, I don't like talking about personality, mm -hmm. a particular person has nev never defected. It was just evolving mm -hmm. or metamorph. you know. <laughs> I love. He collapsed one structure for the other to be able to get ticket. It's not different, technically, from defection. The idea is that he abandoned one thing and goes to the other one because of what ultimately the person is running after. So all I'm saying is that when we click it, we diagnose it. What we see is desperate political moves being exhibited by our politicians because power in Nigeria is the ultimate, is the ultimate to solve financial problems, social problems, economic problems, even ego problems. Even ego problems. That ordinarily the state will have 
you know, handled care of, for which which is not the case. Yet. Until we address that, uh, the other political you know issues will not. Mr. Yakub, thank you very much for holding on. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Shibori, and then uh, good morning to Prof. Uh, good morning, Shibori. Is it? I I I just want to disagree with uh, Prof a little bit uh, because if if you have other problems. Uh, there is no matter that about it. You have the exceptional ones, and then you have the other way around. So you can, you can, you can, you can remove that. Same thing as politician. Why am I saying that? Because uh, early in the discussion, Professor made mention that Ashwat Bola Ahmed Tinubu and Abu Bakr, the other man in PDP, uh, in person of Presidential uh, PDP. I playing the same card. I I got to disagree. Why? 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 Because I'm, uh, since 1999, Ashwat Bola, I'm a Tinubu. I've never differed from one party to another. Although I listen to your best now, says that he collapsed one, one structure to another one. No, no, because it, when it is, it has been a progressive somebody since inception. That is number one. Number two, if you are, I want to mention another person that in the conservative, conservative party, which is a uh, former governor of uh, uh, the Gala State, the person of Sule Lami, has never left PDP for once. So both those two, two, two persons that I mentioned... That's uh, Sule Lamido. Yes. Were you mentioning Sule Lamido? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Sule Lamido of, uh, of uh, the Gala State, if I don't make a mistake, he has never left PDP for once. Ashwat Bola Ahmed Nubu have never left progressive party for once. So I was saying that you see this defection of a thing that they are talking about. Let me give you a typical example here. Chief Jari, I don't know, maybe you are listening to me. In, in uh, your state, hello? We can hear you, hello? we can hear you. Yes, yeah, sir. In, in uh, your state, let me give you a typical example here. In uh, your state, since 1999, one, one very particular place has been in the uh, Senate House, which is uh, Obomajor Assis. They have been a senate since 1999, and some of us are coming from Okogo Assis. We have never been once tested that seat for once. So this dispensation now, in person of uh, uh, Professor Pellerson, he wanted to be in that very particular senate house this time around. And then what happened in the primary elections that he, there was not a primary election, the, the first that guy to, to leave the APC to a court party, even though that I have sympathy for APC, which I'm going to vote for them, but in the other state, I didn't be, have opportunity to be in my area. I will vote for that guy because we have 13 local government that control that very particular seat. Only three local government have been providing that Senate house since 1999. The remaining 10 have never tested it. So what, I, what I'm going to say here is that some defection is justified. Some are not justified. Some are just a uh, political and excessive interest. And then the, the people that cause it is, is most is the governors. Because our governors are so powerful to their extent that they dictate whoever who gets what, who goes to Which is a main complaint. <laughs> is a main That's complaint the of the yes, people, of the these uh, the politicians. Problem. Thank you very much, Yakub, for mm -hmm. uh, calling in. I mm -hmm. uh, appreciate your call. Mm -hmm. Yes, the level of fluctuation in and out. Yeah. Um, uh, he, 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 his, his, his analysis, some are justified, that yeah, is defections, yeah. some not so much. All of them are justified by power. That somebody remains in a political party is because that's where his power interest lies. That you, don't, you don't begin to praise somebody because he has not changed political party. If I live in a house and I feel that my interest is threatened in this house and I move to the other house, you want to praise me for remaining there and risk my life? What I'm saying is a generic issue. I am not a politician. I am not speaking to passion and emotion and the game. I am analyzing. Mm -hmm. And my analysis simply depicts that interest. One thing, interest, that's, that's is thing. what makes you live or stay. Because even nothing is something. Mm -hmm. Living, it is your interest. Staying, it's if you calculate as a political guru, mm -hmm. that. You're leaving your party to another party will make you fail. That's why you won't leave. Yeah. It's not because you love the party so much. It's because of your yeah. interest. It's still the interest. The and power is the interest. Maybe that's we, something. Well, uh, uh, we're going to have to uh, leave it here, Cardi. Yeah. Uh, um, maybe we've sort of uh, understood the concept of the whole the phenomenon mm. of. Um, 
cross carpeting of the, the campaign. If we the do, game, I'm happy. You if know, we do, I'm happy. Because um, it's about interest it's at about the end interest. of the day. That's if you try to understand it from that point yeah, of view, that's perhaps it will make sense. Yes. Might not make all the moral sense you want, it, well, but you sort of separate the two. not morality. That politics it's and democracy is not morality. It's not morality. Thank you very yeah, much, uh, Kaede. Kaede is a lot research associate professor of uh, political behavior, Institute of uh, African and uh, Diaspora Studies at the University of Lagos. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yori, for Indeed. having me. And so that's our program today. Uh, please uh, join us on Monday for a fresh edition. I am Yori Folani. Do have a great weekend. Bye-bye for now.